let us apply the limit loss in evaluating the limits of algebraic functions. Let us evaluate the limit of the quantity 4x cubed plus 5x as x approaches 2. So the first theorem that we're going to use is the addition theorem. We're going to add the limit of 4x cubed as x approaches 2 to the limit of 5x as x approaches 2. Next, applying the constant multiple theorem, we multiply 4 by the limit of x cubed as x approaches 2 plus 5 times the limit of x as x approaches 2. And lastly, applying the power theorem, we have 4 times 2 cubed plus 5 times 2. So it is equal to 32 plus 10 which is equal to 42. Another example, let us evaluate the limit of the quantity x squared minus 25 over x minus 5 as x approaches 5. Unlike in our first example, we cannot right away evaluate this given function using the limit loss, for it may lead us to an indeterminate form wherein we cannot define the limit of this function. Okay, let me tell you why. If, for example, we substitute 5 in x of this given function, applying the limit loss, we have 5 squared is 25 minus 25 is 0. So our numerator will become 0. And in the denominator, 5 minus 5 is also 0. Therefore, we will have 0 over 0. Meaning, it leads us to what we call indeterminate form. Or, we cannot define the limit. And so, instead of substituting right away the value of c, which is 5, in our given function, we can factor first our given numerator such that one of its factors is the same as the denominator. So by factoring we have x plus 5 times x minus 5 over x minus 5. And then we can cancel out x minus 5. So what is left is x plus 5. So here, we can apply the limit law, which is the addition theorem. So applying the addition theorem, we have 5 plus 5 equals 10. So the limit of the given function, x squared minus 25 over x minus 5 is 10.